Here's how to make an arrow in Adobe Illustrator. First, we need some kind of line. I'm gonna use the pin tool. You can also use the line segment tool to create a line. We'll use the pin tool and we can just click twice out here, or we could even click and drag, make a little angled line or an arc. Press V for the selection tool, and then select your line path. Go over to stroke, change the weight of it. Also click stroke options. You can change the weight of it here. You can adjust a few things here, but down here we have arrowheads. So we can select the end of our arrow and the beginning of our arrow or vice versa, whatever you wanna call it. And then you can flip flop those if you accidentally pointed it the wrong way. You can also do double ended arrows, right? So you could select the same arrow on either side and just create like a double arrow. Uh, and there's lots of different options here in the arrowheads selection area there. Now this is a path so you can actually just completely edit this path, select this with the direct selection tool, shortcut key is A, move it around, completely adjust what this arrow looks like, which direction it's pointing by clicking and grabbing these handles. If you did with the pin tool, I can't get that handle. Can someone help me? What about right here? There we go. So you can change the direction of the handles if you added that with the pin tool. Now here's another way to add an arrow out here. You can actually add arrows as symbols. So go up to window, down to symbols. It's gonna pop open a symbol panel. This arrow you won't see. You might see this one, but we don't want that one. We want to go to the symbol libraries because there's a whole arrows section. It's going to pull open this window here and it gives you a lot of different, you know, random arrow options. Some of these are basic down here, like this one. I could grab, click and drag out onto my artboard. I could scale this guy up and down holding shift to keep it in proportion. Now this is a symbol. That means that it's not exactly directly editable. If you want it to be, all you have to do is select it, go up to object down to expand. Once we expand the objects fill and the object itself, now we have like an actual shape out here. So we could press A, we could select these, Oh, not mess with that. Apparently there's, there's a little bounding box outside here. So if we right click, we can actually ungroup that from its bounding box. This is kind of the issue with the symbol. Select that bounding box and just delete it out of there. So now we just have this. Now we press A, we can select directly these points. We could just round off these corners, things like that. So you can make direct selections to this object now once you expand that symbol. The other thing you can do is just simply build out an arrow. We've got a rectangle tool here. We can add a rectangle. We could add a square just like that. Clicking and dragging. Press P for the pin tool and maybe get rid of one of these anchor points. Suddenly you have a triangle. Find the corner here with it selected. Turn it around. Hold shift to keep it lined up just like that. We can attach this over here. You could select them both. Click on the rectangle and make sure they're aligned just right. Right here. Just like that. You could check it with the aligned top, line bottom, line middle. So you want these middle points lined up. Once those two are touching, you can grab it and you can find your pathfinder options and just merge them together, unite them together. Now we've made our own arrow. You could also last one here with the brush tool. That's B, the shortcut key. And then if you double click the brush tool, bringing up the paintbrush tool options, I would select all the way to the smooth end of this fidelity. And that's it. Hit OK. Now we've got the brush tool selected. I'm actually going to swap these two. So I want to create something with a stroke, but no fill. You can click this none icon when you have fill selected here. But this stroke is just going to be to help me draw an arrow here just like this. And I can literally hand draw this arrow like that. Then I could select both of these and I could just use the up and down arrow keys to kind of make this the point size that I want, just like that. And I've drawn an arrow. That's kind of nice. I actually use that a lot in my thumbnails. I might even use it in this thumbnail. I don't know. I haven't made it yet. But I've got these two paths here. So I can still customize this. I could keep it separate from there. I could bring it in a little closer. I could rotate it if I you know, didn't draw it quite right and just kind of move it around, get it perfect. Also, you see how these caps are rounded? All you have to do is select these guys, go to your stroke options, and make sure you have round rounding on both of these. Now I actually think with the brush tool, it might've automatically done that. So I may not have that option. Not really sure, but I like how this arrow looks regardless. That's a bunch of ways to make arrows here in Adobe Illustrator.